Hey Virgo, this is House of Virgo. Welcome to my channel. This uh, channel is strictly for Virgos. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. If you'd like to get a personal reading, the links are in the description box below. All right, Virgo, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And if you're new, welcome. Let's take a look and see and look at your person's energy and see what the past position holds. Gosh, I gotta tell you, in the beginning, it was nothing but the emperor. And now it's like constantly the king of wands. And you see I'm shuffling here, okay? Okay, past king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, six of pentacles, and the knight of wands, present energy, the world, the high priestess. I don't pull reversals, so if you're asking why I flipped that over, that's why. The eight of swords. I mean, if a reversal like flips out, then I'll take it. Four of swords in the future with the six of swords. Oh, and the queen of swords. Oh my goodness. All right, Virgo. I see you and I see um, a fire sign. Okay, here. So we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have Virgo, we have um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay, and hmm, let's get the uh, love messages from the past. I feel like there was someone in your in your past who was. either trying to help you or was being quite generous with you um, or is quite was quite generous with other people um, I feel like fair someone who was very fair now the king of wands is someone who can be a very bold leader powerful charming and courageous okay he's got passion like nobody's business um, for some it could have been a Leo but this Knight of Wands might have been in and out of your life, okay? Um, very lusty. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Very sexual relationship. Very passionate. Chemistry. A strong magnetic attraction with this person. So, whew. I always say, be careful what you wish for, because you were getting that passion and maybe a little bit of reciprocity, but that King of Wands was pretty much all about himself, you know, um, not narcissistic or anything like that, but the King of Wands is always kind of like, well, you know, let me get mine first and then I'll give the rest to everybody else. Like kind of that energy would still be generous and still give and you know would try to be fair but i just feel like this person from your past was kind of like with that knight of wands like you know very free-spirited type of person you know um very active physically active when when they want something they would get it and they may have tried to give to you to get or when they got what they wanted from you, they gave something in return, like monetarily. Mm, I don't know. It, uh, for some of you, it just might have been like they would call you. Like they, I feel like your person did feel like you were their soulmate, even though they may not have like used that word. But I do feel like they felt that you were soulmates and that they could call you anytime and, you know, take you out to dinner and then get a little little fun sexy time with them you know but then they were just they'd be gone like they might have just come into town and then they left okay but their the tr attraction very strong let's take a look at the, this king wands the three of pentacles this person might have been a teacher or their own school um oh it just kind of feels like this this person like was really focused on themselves and what they could create in their life, okay? What they were able to build. 
sometimes the Three of Pentacles can be a, a card of teamwork. Um, but it does kind of feel like your person was more like... Um, focused on more like what you could do for them rather than what they could do for you and I know that's harsh but that's kind of what I felt like the energy for the past the six of pentacles here the high priestess again yeah they had a lot of secrets this person just kind of like they didn't want to be asked questions they just wanted to give what they could give and that would be it okay um they just withheld with the high priestess, you know, left you kind of like wondering a lot. Hmm. I'm going to pull another card for that high priestess. Okay, yeah, the page of cups. So they would give, but very lightly, like, like the page of cups is, is very beautiful card, you know, and that's a card of communication. Um, Usually the Page of Cups can represent someone who's very studious, like a studious child. Um, this person also had child support that they had to pay, and they really weren't. It feels more like this, your person from the past, or they, so for some of you, they had this child support, that, or they had money that they owed, or things that they had to pay for that maybe you knew about, or that they didn't tell you about, and it feels mostly like this person did feel like you were a soulmate to them, and the attraction was there, but they couldn't commit, because the Knight of Wands just kind of goes in and then out, and then here's the Devil card, so it was toxic, it feels like it was like a toxic thing. You might have been like, um, this is my soulmate. Can we work it out? Can we make it happen? But it just feels like this person had other things going on. They were focused on their work, the things that they were building in their life. And they just weren't trying to commit. Even if they told you that, that that's what they wanted, they might have just said that. They had a hard time connecting emotionally. They were very light with the emotions, with the Page of Cups, you know. Like I said, it's, the Page of Cups is very sweet energy. Um, they volunteer, offer their love, but like, no, no, it's not deep. Page of Cups is not deep. Let's see what the present. Children. Hmm. So either you have children or this person has children or you both do, but it has a strong effect on this relationship. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay. So your person, because they had children and they had to take care of the business of their children, I do feel like the best, they couldn't give more to you. They had to put themselves first in order to be able to care for the children and vice versa. For some of you, that might've been your case as well. Okay. If there was no children at all, this connection might have could be presently um, communication about children or somebody here might be thinking about that or wanting that. Now, I know a lot of my viewers are upper aged and are not having children anymore, um, but maybe something comes up or something came up in the past. Okay, so the world card is here. Uh, you know, Virgo, I just kind of feel like your person is walking away from the idea of marriage in the present or family or having children, okay? Now, or maybe marriage is okay or commitment is okay, but I feel like this person just, if marriage is on the table, it just kind of feels like they they do want a child or would like to have children, but yet they're not sure. They're, they don't, it's mostly that they're not sure that they can or they're not sure that they would make a good parent. Let's take a look here. But I do feel like they want to try something new, at least to have some kind of committed relationship with you. Okay, the Empress. Yeah, see, the Empress is always about fertility and pregnancy they're thinking about it that's the best i can tell you 
they're thinking about it. They're thinking about children. They're thinking about if they can do it, if they can't. Um, if they can do that with you, you know, um, they might be thinking about walking away from the whole idea and just scrapping that. So the Ten of Cups came up in the reverse for the Eight of Swords. So it just kind of feels like this, this is family trouble, empty nest, broken marriage. This person might have come from a broken marriage where children were involved and they just decided they can't, they just can't do it or they just don't have what it takes to do it. Do they not want to be with you? No, I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like they do want to be with you, but they might be waiting for others. This person might be waiting until their children are grown. Okay. Um, and they're still dealing with the mother or the father, like the parent from the previous marriage or relationship that they're just trying to get away from. But they do want to be with you. But uh, that Ten of Cups energy just kind of makes me feel like this person feels like they don't know if they can go down that road a second or a third time, you know, because things didn't go so well before. And they're just kind of like they don't it's like they feel I almost feel like they equate it with like prison. Maybe the marriage or the connection they were in before felt that way, like they were a prisoner. Um, and that can happen when people get older or someone has never been married or stuff they've seen with their family members or things like that. There's a lot of like uh, confusion. But I do feel there's a reunion coming that's for sure there may be travel and there might be some conversations about this okay let's take a look and see the future energy huh worth waiting for same exact place as yesterday's reading and the release your ex card was there unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going Virgo, I'm going to just give it to you straight here because we give readings and sometimes they really are unicorns and rainbows and other times you got to face some stuff with this person. King of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Virgo, I feel like you are trapped going forward. You want to wait for this person, but you also feel like, what is there? What is there? What is left? I feel like the attraction might be kind of dying out for you. Not because of the children thing, but maybe some of you do want to have kids and this person is just is not wanting that. Um, and for others, it's like, if you're a fr if your person, I almost said friend, if your person is just too negative about a relationship working and would rather just work and stay passive, you might decide, you know, to make a change here in your life and wait for somebody else to come in, you know, and make that necessary transition for yourself, okay? It doesn't mean that you have to, Virgo. It's up to you, totally. But I just kind of get a sense here that your person, they want to be with you. They would like a reunion. They would like to connect with you. Start a kind of a new chapter with the slate clean, but they're not sure about it 100%. Is it that they're not sure about you? It's, they're not sure about themselves. This person has a really hard time with, um, you know, they sometimes feel like a victim and maybe they're not a victim, but they kind of put themselves in that damsel or what's the opposite of damsel? It's not dame. Like damsel in distress on the train tracks or guy on the train tracks, you know, like look at, it looks like, she, like she's on the train tracks, right? Oh, it's just a body. 
could be somebody male or female but if you look this person's not actually tied to the tracks they might just be laying there waiting for a rescue um, but your person ten of cups energy is like um, there's no like love and support and your person just kind of is a bit fearful I mean <laughs> I do feel like they do look at you and they do want to make changes. I do feel like they are going to try to fight their fear and come towards you because you give them the truth, but you also bring stability and that gives them a sense of peace. But I don't know, Virgo, I kind of feel like you're at a crossroad. You're just, and I still see like, if that's where you are right now, I still kind of feel like going forward, you're just going to still be there because it's not time to decide yet. Because you're of two minds. Do I wait for this person or do I just move on? I just want to pull a clarifying card for the worth waiting for. Because this, some of you are just like, I know we're meant to be together. And divine timing is going to be the way it really, truly happens. You know, like this person, I feel like they want to be with you. Like presently be with you. But like not be involved heavily. Be not because they don't love you. I, I don't feel that. I just feel like it's because maybe they're just not capable to do it. And that's just, that's the thing because you know that they are, but you, you could only lead a, heart, a horse to water and you can't make them drink. Okay. See, Knight of Cups on the worth waiting for, waiting for that proposal, waiting for this person to come in. I don't, I don't see any proposal with this person. And then unrequited love. Unrequited, unrequited. Yep, and the fool. And walk away. Start a new journey on your own. Hmm. Kind of feels like you met this person and it's like, oh, you felt that chemistry. The attraction was magnetic. Some of you in the past were like praying for this person to come in and they came in and then they went out and then maybe they came in again and went out. They had other priorities. And here in the present, it's like they want to be with you and they want to have a new beginning, but they just are not sure even if they could be if enough for you to support you or fulfill your needs. So, yeah, you're, you're kind of like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> but I see them here in the future, like really trying to make these changes with you. I don't know. Is it too late for you? I feel like when this per Virgo, I feel like you've been waiting and they do come in with this offer, but for you, I think you may not be feeling it anymore because maybe they made you wait so long or they just kept you in a position where maybe they were giving, it was a lot of false starts, so they were giving you false hope. Let's see how they feel about you. Stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. They do believe that. But there's obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Maybe there's a past, uh, a trust issue between the two of you. I couldn't let you get close to me. You speak to me through music. Okay. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. So there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. And I feel like even though this person does see you as their other half and they are willing to overcome their fears and, you know, they have been thinking about it and they will be thinking about it. Um, I don't know if you're, I, I think the tables turn. That's what I feel like the tables begin to turn and it's kind of like as soon as they're ready to like come in and be with you I feel like now you're the it's like you were the run you were the chaser they were the runner now now they're the chaser and you're the runner I just I don't know it just feels like you may have outgrown this connection self-care clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. An addiction is an addiction is affecting this relationship. 
that the, the relationship is moving towards marriage. It is. But is that what you want now? Do you want that anymore? Lean on your inner circle during this time. You need to seek support to help you because I feel like you've got some things to sort out because I feel like you'll be on the fence going forward. When this person comes in and proposes, we need to really go deep and figure out, is this the one that you want to be with for the rest of your life from this point on, Virgo? Are you sure? There's an awakening happening here. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. And someone in this connection is gripped with obsessive thoughts. My goodness. Virgo. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, it's just for this time period. You know, my readings change daily. Um, and for some of you, this may not even be happening at all, but it may. It's just some things that I feel like you got to think about. That's all. And try to figure out what it is you want. And be truthful with yourself. Right? Maybe some of you are going to be like, eh. Maybe I'll give it a try. Maybe the love will come back, you know. But just remember, the Knight of Cups is very romantic. The Knight of Cups has that Prince Charming, okay? But Knights are always in movement. Okay, I'm going to leave your reading there, Virgo. I hope that that was helpful in some way, and I'll see you guys very soon. All right, take care.